As we approach the highly anticipated release of the next generation of iPhones, the iPhone 16 series, multiple leaks have shown intriguing advancements. Apple seems to be pulling out all the stops, with updated screens on some models, increased usage of the spectacular Tetra Prism camera, upgraded OLED displays, and an enhanced primary camera sensor. However, a startling alteration has lately emerged. A tweak to MagSafe. This change offers not just a more streamlined design, but also a considerable increase in performance. Apple added MagSafe to the iPhone in 2020, along with the iPhone 12 series debut. While wireless charging has been available on Apple devices for three years, there was always the risk that if the phone was not exactly positioned on the charging pad, it would not charge overnight. To remedy this problem, Apple added a ring of magnets on the rear of the iPhone, which matched to magnets in the charger. MagSafe quickly became popular as popularity prompted the inclusion of magnet rings in chargers, making them compatible with Android phones as well. Now, a French website called Shop System has revealed photographs of case-making molds allegedly developed for the iPhone 16 series. These molds expose the cutouts for the MagSafe magnets. While the positioning is comparable to current versions, the magnets look much thinner. However, they retain the characteristic circular design with a separate bar like a magnifying glass. What does this signify for the users? Apple is continually seeking to enhance design components, and it seems that they have found a method to replicate the same magnetic effect with a slimmer and more subtle system. You may be curious about older iPhones and MagSafe chargers. Rest assured, Apple has considered backward compatibility. Earlier iPhones and MagSafe chargers will continue to operate flawlessly with the new iPhone 16 series, much as the Apple Watch and still utilize bands created for the first Apple Watch, which was launched over a decade ago. Ms. CC Creer recently reported on an earlier suggestion that Apple was experimenting with speedier charging capabilities. According to the claim, Apple tested charging rates of up to 20 watts using MagSafe, above the existing limit of 15 watts. This rumor surfaced last year and was believed to be for the iPhone 16 series. If this is accurate, it would result in substantially quicker wireless charging and perhaps faster wired charging, jumping from 29 to 40 watts. As is typical of Apple, any improvements in design and performance will undoubtedly go hand in hand. And as we all know, Apple's highly anticipated iPhone 16 series is slated to arrive in around four months, bringing a slew of novel features and enhancements. However, there are suspicions that the iPhone 16 models may be more expensive, owing to the inclusion of premium components and other variables influencing manufacturing costs. This follows the pattern set by last year's iPhone 15 Pro Max, which saw a $100 price increase. The iPhone 15 Pro Max price rise was attributed to its expensive telephoto camera, a 17 Pro processor, titanium frame, and premium Samsung display. According to a Nikkei Asia report, these factors increased the manufacturing cost to $558, a 12% increase over the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Despite major enhancements, the basic iPhone 15 and 15 Plus maintained their price even as manufacturing costs rose. The next iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max are expected to have sleeker and smaller designs, enhanced camera configurations, and new A18 chipsets. Furthermore, these gadgets are expected to include artificial intelligence technologies, possibly adding to increased manufacturing costs. These reasons together with inflation and higher manufacturing rates are thought to be the key drivers of the likely price rise for the iPhone 16 series. While it is unclear if the price rise will apply to all models in the iPhone 16 series, analysts believe that the Pro versions will be the most affected. The ultimate price of the iPhone 16 series is believed to be undisclosed until closer to its formal introduction. As the launch date approaches, Apple fans and industry observers are anxiously anticipating the company's statements. With the expected technology breakthroughs and design refinements, enthusiasm is evident and many are eager to see how Apple will handle the obstacles presented by rising manufacturing costs while maintaining user interest. Now for those of you who are looking forward to the Apple iPhone 16 series, we'll go over the entire specifications, design, and price for each model in the lineup to help you determine which one is best for you. For my frequent viewers, you've already watched this, so proceed to the next video. But if you're new here, click subscribe now and we'll get right to it. So first off, we have the basic iPhone 16. The basic iPhone 16 has a 6.3-inch OLED display, however, it remains an LTPS display. The iPhone 16 will have a larger aspect ratio than the previous year and be protected by the Ceramic Shield 2. We received the new Dynamic Island, which hides the 12-megapixel selfie camera and Face ID sensors. On the back, we get a 12-megapixel main camera and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide. 
It is powered by the 18 chipset and will most likely include 6 GB of RAM and up to 512 GB of storage. It is also powered by a 3561 map battery with 30 W rapid charging and will have sophisticated 5G, Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E. It will of course come with iOS 18, and it is expected to cost roughly $850 when it launches in September 2024. Next up, you have the iPhone 16 Plus. The iPhone 16 Plus has a 6.9-inch OLED display, which sadly is another LTPS display. It has a higher aspect ratio than its predecessor and is covered by Ceramic Shield 2. We received the new Dynamic Island, which hides the 12-megapixel selfie cameras and Face ID sensors. On the back, we get a 12-megapixel main camera and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide. It is powered by the 18 chipset and will most likely come with 6GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage. It is powered by a 46 mAh battery with 30W quick charging and supports advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 6E. Of course, it already ships with iOS 18. And when it launches in September 2024, it is estimated to cost roughly $950. Next, we have the iPhone 16 Pro. The iPhone 16 Pro now has a 6.3-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display. It has a higher aspect ratio than its predecessor, and the Pro is covered with Ceramic Shield 3. We received the new Dynamic Island, which hides the 12-megapixel selfie camera and Face ID sensors. The back camera setup includes a 48-megapixel main camera, a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 12-megapixel tear prism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It is powered by the 18 Pro chipset, with 8GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage. It is likewise powered by a 3000, 450 map battery, and fast charging is unclear at this time, although we anticipate some improvements. Of course, it has modern 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It will, of course, arrive with iOS 18 and is estimated to start at roughly $1,100 in September 2024. Finally, we have saved the best for last, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 6.9-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display. Again, as with the previous phones, it has a larger aspect ratio than its predecessor and is covered by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the Dynamic Island, which hides the 12-megapixel selfie cameras and Face ID sensors. The back camera setup includes a 48-megapixel main camera, a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 12-megapixel tetraprism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It is powered by the 18 Pro chipset, has 8GB of RAM, and can hold up to 1TB of storage. It is powered by a 4676 mAh battery. As with the 16 Pro, we don't know much about fast charging right now, but we anticipate some improvements. It now has advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7, and will of course launch with iOS 18. This one is estimated to be priced at approximately $1,300 in September 2024. Overall, the iPhone 16 series seems to be an excellent addition to the iPhone lineup. While many things stay the same, there are several enhancements to the new hardware that powers it. Better and brighter screens together with the improved battery thermal technology should significantly improve the experience and complement the newer features. Of course, with so many similarities to its predecessor, it's unlikely that anybody possessing an iPhone 15 would hurry to upgrade. However, it will be an excellent pick for anybody with an older iPhone or seeking to get their first iPhone. Of course, as the launch date approaches, more information will become available and I will share it as quickly as possible. So be sure to subscribe to catch everything in the future.